Ladies and gentlemen, we've been duly advised by the former health secretary not to pontificate. Hence, I would heed his advice like a good politician should heed to a good bureaucrat. This evening is an evening where you celebrate excellence. And the motto with which you celebrate is that you seek to inspire change together. It is but a modicum of your greatest success that your peers sit amongst you. On the field, they compete with you. But here, as they decide on the merits of the award, they, in their capacity as judges and peers, bestow upon you an honor with regards to excellence because that is what you denote for the industry. The fact that those you compete with are compelled to celebrate your excellence speaks volumes about your healthcare journey. While Mr. Mishra was kind enough to extend his congratulations to all the finalists, I would also like to congratulate ENY for this exhaustive procedure. It almost sounded like a UPSC exam. What we hope that organizations like FICI can institute is the same race for excellence at the regional level, at the state level, and possibly one day at the district level. It is when excellence is celebrated at the grassroots that, ladies and gentlemen, I think, will be our greatest achievement as an organization. And I take the liberty of saying our greatest achievement because a part of the process also has engulfed my own doctor. Gautam asked me that I was kind enough to give my time for this event this evening. I said I had no other option but to heed to my own good doctor. For if I didn't listen to what he commanded of me, I would probably the next time I'm in the doctor's clinic missing an organ. Now, jokes apart, ladies and gentlemen, what can you inspire with regards to change that you seek to bring together? When the pandemic struck our country, the cacophony the world over was how would India survive? Those who could barely manage to get a toilet roll in their markets and shelves pontificated about India's inability to deliver on taking care of COVID and non-COVID patients. Today, I use this as an opportunity to give thanks, not as a minister, but as a citizen, to the millions of healthcare workers, doctors, and healthcare establishments that ensured that India and Indians stayed safe. It was remarkable, and I'm firsthand witness to it, how our healthcare industry immediately, understanding the immediacy of problems that the pandemic thrust upon us as a nation state, ensured that yes, our hospitals, irrespective of their conditions, were spruced up to serve the poorest of the poor and not let any one Indian go without care, without support. That in a state of emergency, medically worldwide, was a remarkable performance by all Indians. And the healthcare sector particularly has my gratitude. Today I come amongst you <laughs> as a minister responsible for women and children. Though governance works in wondrous ways, and health of women and children is a responsibility that is bestowed upon the health department. However, what was fascinating for all of us to witness, and I speak here now as an MP of a METI, doctors and a mere 21 doctors in my constituency, in collaboration with the chief medical officer in my constituency, managed to track 44,000 pregnant women in one district while there was a global shutdown so that these women, when are they scheduled to deliver a child, received care at their homes and special arrangements made at the district hospital or the private clinics that these doctors served in. The magic of 21 doctors servicing the needs of 44,000 pregnant women. and an army of Anganwadi workers and Asha workers 
personally gave me an experience of what partnerships, as Mr. Mishra spoke of, between the private sector and the government can do, especially when the nation is met with challenges. The last thing that I'd like to enunciate here this evening, when the Prime Minister gave a clarion call, let's vaccinate our people by making the vaccine right here in India. Many the world over rebuffed or for that matter, scoffed at India's capacity to vaccinate its citizens, especially when there were a few voices, unfortunately, which said these vaccines will not work. The fact that we as a country could witness the administration of 200 crore doses in a definite timeline spoke volumes about the capacity of the healthcare industry. Well, Dr. Mahajan presumes that I would speak volumes about Ayushman Bharat. I have done so before, hence I will restrain myself now. But today, ladies and gentlemen, and particularly this evening, is about you inspiring change, not only in the healthcare industry. Know this, now you're an inspiration for many, cutting across many an industry, because you are, and have done so efficiently, have been in the business of saving lives. So from every life that you have saved, this evening is to say thank you.